previously on Slug Street Scrappers. I'm looking for Ryukin. So you've come to drag him back to corporate headquarters, right? How did you know? Please, I wouldn't be much of an info broker if I didn't do my homework. So then you should know that we are arranged to be wed before Ryukin disappeared. What are you talking about? Punchy's fine. In fact, she called me just a few hours ago from the air. She what? Yeah, she's on her way to China or Japan or something. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Thailand, you idiot of a man. Well, how long has it been? Six months. That's good. I'm three weeks, four days, 15 hours, 36 minutes, and three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Okay, okay, I get it. You're with Peach's Powers, right? The boss of the Slugger Squad? The current toughest in town? Yep. I think she may be in danger. Would you quit being all cryptic and vague and just get to the point already? What makes you think she's in some kind of special danger? Not her specifically, but whoever holds the title, the toughest in town. Bruiser, just stop it, okay? This isn't funny anymore. It's not a joke. It never was. It's very important that you give up your title. Fine. You want my title? Just take it. Yes. There are only a few left to test. It's almost finished. This round's pulling should be lucrative. I'm confident it'll make for a more than satisfactory transfer. I still can't believe you lost to a noob scrapper like Knuckles. Man, I've pwned more noobs than all scrappers combined. Knuckles was a fluke, but it won't happen again. Well, that's why I'm here, little bro, to make sure it doesn't. Fine. So, what's the agenda? First, I have to see where you're at. You've been out of the game for a while now, though, Jimmy. I doubt your elite rank will still hold up. I guess we'll see, Billy. Bring it, bro.
got better. Or you've gotten worse. Smart ass. You know, I got a chance to see that knuckle chick. And I think I know why you lost. Oh yeah? Enlighten me then. You let yourself get distracted by her non-martial attributes. <sighs> no way. Dude, come on. Okay, so I did. Sue me. That's what I thought. Can't say I blame you though. But whatever the case, more training never hurts. Alright, so what's the plan? You and I are going to take on an elite. The experience should serve you well. And maybe even get you a higher scrapper rank. Alright. I'm game. trying to reach you for over a week. I've been... busy. I hope you haven't forgotten why we sent you. I know why you sent me, okay? Not why I'm here. Wait, wh what do you mean? Forget it. Look, we're running out of time. Relations between the Kazamas and the Clarks are becoming more and more strained. You don't think I realize that? If you did, you would have done your job by now. It's not that simple, okay? Just do as you're told and bring Ryukin back. Master Kazama. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Well, you know me. Never did like to rush things. Except at the bottom of a bottle. Won't argue with that. I know why you're here and I know what you're going to ask. And you know what my response will be. So why don't you save us both the trouble and head back where you came from? Master Kazama, the higher ups in our family are becoming impatient. Ever since you ran out on your engagement with the Clark family's only daughter, you placed the merger between our two families in dire jeopardy. Walking out of my engagement to Knuckles was regrettable. If I could have done it any other way, I would have. But I couldn't live in that mansion another minute. I'm done with the Kazama family for good. You may be finished with them, but they aren't finished with you. And neither is the Clark family. I've heard they dispatched one or two persons in the aid to search for you. And I suppose now that you've found me, you're going to inform the Clarks of my whereabouts? I am a Kazama, and until the merger, I have no obligation to the Clarks. However, I must obey the higher-ups of our family. I see. Well then, how about we make this interesting? You always did like a good wager, didn't you? Indeed I did. Then let's do this. You beat me in a fight, and I'll return with you right now. And if I lose? Then you pretend you never saw me, and continue your search elsewhere. Very well. But you have no hope of defeating me. You know my purpose within the Kazama family. I exist to keep others in line, and I certainly could not do that if I lacked the skill to defeat them in battle. And with all due respect, you are the least skilled in our family. Not anymore. Interesting. Well, I believe it when I see it firsthand. 
Then you accept the wager? I accept. You spoke the truth. You've improved beyond comprehension. I have. And I will continue to train as long as I have to. I understand. And I am a man of my word. And I'll leave you in peace. Master Gazama. Liking that shirt I got you.
punchy McBritches. Who are you? <laughs> Boss of the Slugger Squad? Those goons have a boss? <laughs> well, what do you want? You were supposed to be training in Thailand. I'm wearing a sailor suit. <laughs> Your argument is invalid. Your face is invalid. Why are you wearing a sailor suit anyways? <gasps> Wait. Did you just get back from Thailand right now? In that paddleboard? Sailor suit, paddleboard. You do the math. But that's like 8,000 miles. You know what? Forget I asked. Well, I don't know if anyone has told you yet, but since you've been gone, Ryukin has grown much more powerful. He's now an elite. Who's Rukin? Who? Your freaking fanboy, of course. He used to follow you around like a lost puppy. Oh yeah, fanboy stalker guy, right? Sent me a letter a while ago, said he was fanboy breaking up with me. I'm not surprised. His talents were wasted following around has been like you. Ryukin's moved on to bigger and better things. I've claimed him as my second in command. Good, maybe now I'll stop rooting around in my trash cans. Why did you come back? Uh. Take out Bruiser, of course. What? Like on a date? What? No. Like to challenge him? <gasps> you stay away from him, you stupid boyfriend stealer. Boyfriend steal? Wait. You and Shrimpy are dating? <laughs> <laughs> We're dating. Don't call him a shrimp, you, you stupid Amazon. Huh. Well. I have been working out. I mean that as an insult. <laughs> you do realize you're pretty much the same size as me, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Just zip it, Punchy. Don't spaz out, Miss Overly Attached. Bruiser's just someone I need to cut down to size. <laughs> oh, wait. If he's your ex, what do you care anyway? I mean... <laughs> I wouldn't get my hopes up for a reconciliation if I were you. I'm not! I just don't want you getting in the way of my long-awaited revenge. You stay away from Bruiser, or you're gonna find yourself in a whole world of trouble. I think I'll just do what I want. Good. I was hoping we'd get to do this the hard way. I've been itching to try out my three new styles. Let's start with classic stance. What a coincidence! I like talking about styles too! Although... I don't know, I prefer contemporary over classic, but wait, uh, what were we talking about again? Oh, right. You wanted me to beat you up. Follow me. <laughs> Where'd you learn how to fight a comic book?
And now for my favorite, wild stance. No more manga for you. Who's the